What's up, my cannonballs? We're back for a short, quick second, and I mean short. So, you guys, you know, you guys, I have really been kind of in and out what's been going on on the streets of the B sector. But let me say this some of y'all are really taking it to the far left. Honestly, you guys, I don't think it's that deep. I don't think a lot of these situations on here be that deep to the point where we got to go to the courts. To be honest with you, it ain't that deep. It, I don't look. That's a lot of that's a lot of time, energy, and money that I would feel like it will be a complete waste over some YouTube drama. You know, after a while, I'll be having moments where I'll be like, "This is so childish." Like we are all adults and we're just doing this shit back and forth, back and forth. Which is probably which is kind of why I just kind of simmered on out of, from doing that because it's irrelevant after a while. You know what I'm saying? And it's just so exhausting. Mm -mm. You know, it was fun to be, you know, it's, it's fun being a little petty. But when it, when you start, you know, getting out of your, really, really getting out of your character and just really just every day I'm arguing, arguing, and arguing, arguing, and I'm going to do this and say this. Oh, I ain't got time for all that. That's just too much. But obviously, a lot of people have a lot of time on their hands. And they don't have things to lose, to be honest with you. A lot of these folks seem like they don't have a lot to lose by what they are doing to each other, you know. But to each his own. If you feel the need to go out there and have your name out out there in the system, and, and you know things not may not work out, and all of a sudden it turns back, it turns it turns right back around on you. Hey, that was on you, not me. You chose to, you know, mix the two up. <laughs> you know, I just I just wouldn't. I look if it, if if it was to, if it, if I ever got to a point. Where I'm not getting my sleep, I'm not eating, all off of some drama that's on YouTube. I need, I need to get off of YouTube. I need to get off of YouTube. And I think it's time for a lot of people to either grow some nuts, you know, and take whatever's being said about you and thrown at you, you know, let it go over your shoulder, you know, or you just log off, you know. I don't feel the need to look up people's addresses. Or try to expose, you know, where they live and who their mama and daddy is and cousins and uncles. I don't feel the need to do that. You know why? That ain't my motherfucking business. I don't give a damn about it if I liked you or not. You know, I don't, I, I just don't care about the next individual out here walking like that. It's not that important to me to be trying to find these, yo, I would say these iniquities of things about you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not caring about that. Mm -mm. I refuse. I refuse. I don't care who you done slept with. I don't care what store you done stole out of. You know, I don't care if you worked at a fast food joint. I don't care about none of that. You know, if anything, I'm too busy concerned about my future. You know, I would be. So, I'm too. I'm too consumed to. I'm too consumed in myself to be worried about anybody else. And I feel like a lot of you guys should be like that too. You know, be more in tune with yourself. If you can't take a good roast, it's time for you to get on off of here. You know? I don't I really do feel like when you start, you know, going to the courts and stuff and adding police in it, you know, away from the roast, <laughs> the roasting, you know, it's it you, 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 you're doing too much. You're putting too much, you're putting too much on little, little minor situations, you know, little incidents, I'll put it like that, little incidents. You know, you're putting too much on it, you know. It's time for you to just log off. You know what? You know when anytime someone may try to come at me, because I have love, I get more love than hate, believe it or not, which I'm shocked because the internet is very, very mean. But anytime a random person come around me, and um, and they say something mean to me, you know, I can I can easily choose to respond or not to respond. Now, when I do respond, I'm just being petty. But do y'all think I'm gonna get up on here and be really going hamburgers or just saying evil things? Because you know we all got it in us, you know. I'm not going to do that. Mm -mm. Now, I will say, <laughs> there has been times where I have did that, but I just feel like it's pointless at this point. You know, it's pointless because at the end of the day, you don't know me just like I don't, I don't know you. I can only insult you or, um, or really just um, say lies about you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that deep for me. You know, I look, after you, look, I'm going to tell you like this. After, bit, after, after being talked about the majority of your life, and you're gonna still get talked about the rest of your life, you know, you should be numb to this. I think everybody should be numb to getting talked about 
and you know people um saying crazy things about you you should be numb to it it's just words yeah you may not want to hear it, but hey it's just words you know you know you know your, your yourself you know what you got to do to fix certain things that comes along with you so whatever the next person is saying about you shouldn't even really hit that hard or really that deep to the point where you are acting out on camera on youtube or, yeah, i'm just saying i'm just saying yeah, they say you can't read. Go ahead, try look, try reading a reading a book. Go read a book if they say you can't read or write or spell account. Hell, enhance those things, okay? Work on those things. Those things can be fixed. And then when you come back over here, hey, show them. Hey, look at me. I can do this and do that. You know, it's not that big of a deal. You know, oh my kids are ugly. Oh, well, you, oh you talking about my kids? Uh, go right ahead. They don't know you, and I, you know what? I don't give a damn what you say about them. They, at, the, at the end of the day, they are being taken care of. Oh, you want to talk about you, you want to talk about past loved ones and 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 mamas and daddies? Go right ahead. They don't know you, baby. They are doing good. You know, if any damn thing, me and you both need to be focusing on how to get there. You know, hopefully we can get there. You know, that's where I be coming. That's where I be coming from when when, when I'm when I'm when I'm seeing things and or when I'm faced with certain things like that. You know, it's it's not affecting me like that. It's not that damn deep. For me, I have not lost an ounce of sleep, and I damn sure have not shed one tear off of what has happened on YouTube while I, while I, while I have been on here. Now, have I had a, a moment or two where I was just kind of fed up with the bullshit because I was dealing with some shit in my life, and y'all may have seen that? Yeah, I, I did. I, I may have had maybe one or two moments like that. Well, my, well I think I, I remember one moment. But other than that, all of what some, a stranger is saying about me, I can give a rat's ass about that. Because at the end of the day, I'm not worried about what they say. I'm worried about what God says. Because he has the last say. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, I want y'all to take this with you. Let any human being say whatever they want to say about you. You can also come out. You all. You can also have your comebacks. But at the end of the day, you know the truth about you. Mm-hmm. You know the truth about you. And you shouldn't get bent all out of shape about what someone is saying to you. You know? All because they don't like you. Because you know what? You ain't going to be liked <laughs> all the time. It's going to be some people that, that hate you. Get used to it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's plenty of folks that don't like me. And I don't even know why. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, well, I, well, I would say I know why. They may not be so, I would say, fond of my personality. But it's cool. The feeling is not mutual because I don't I don't hate anybody. I just know when someone is not fucking with me anymore, it's time to move my motherfucking ass. And that's another thing, too, you guys. When folks are, when folks are just done with you, wipe your hands with them. Ain't no need to go back looking for clarity. Wipe your hands with them. And and some of you folks on YouTube need to wipe your hands with some of you people with some of the people that you are subscribed to. If they don't like you, they don't like you. You know what I'm saying? They don't if they don't like you, they don't like you. Stop getting made an ass out of and stop trying to make an ass out of them because it's at the end of the day, it's just like <laughs> y'all gonna argue, then get back cool. Argue and get back cool. Then what's the point of us even going to these these type of measures of Adding police in, 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 I would say, po adding the, adding the police, adding the courts and stuff, you know, just fucking yourself up, you know. A lot of these niggas rolls out here are fucking themselves up, and it's on, it's on camera for us to see it, and then they gonna get mad about it a couple of years later on down the road when they, when this shit has to be brought back to their attention again. Mm-hmm. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you, I wish I would have came on here a little different than I, than I did, but you know, hey, you live and you learn, cause um, boy. I would be embarrassed at myself. <laughs> and I couldn't blame nobody but myself because I did it and I posted it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's all about growth. You know, grow. It's time for a lot of people, a lot of a lot of people around here to, to, to really to change. Just change, change some things around. Evolved. Evolved. You know, just like I was watching on uh, I was watching Food Junkies um video today. You know, we want to see people evolve. We don't want to see these women, we these women doing the same old thing arguing and back and forth. Well, they can argue, but they really want these women, these middle-aged women stuff to be fighting and pulling hair. And then all of a sudden, it'll it'd be, it'd be a petition. Oh, the show is too it's too, um, it's, it's too drama-filled and it's, too, it's violent, you know, but that's what they drive off of. <laughs> I don't get it when it comes to things like that with, with these shows. You know, I, don't, I don't get that. I really don't get that. But yeah. Huh, Y'all, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm getting off topic. I lost my, my, a little bit of my train of thought, so I had to switch, switch it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> forgive me forgive me but um yes you guys it's all about evolving you know what i'm saying it's all about evolving and doing things 
differently. Because at the end of the day, whether they, I would say, whether they uh, decide to reboot that Housewives of Atlanta bullcrap, it ain't going to mean a hill of beans if, if, nobody, if ain't nobody watching it, you know? If ain't nobody watching. And I'm proud that these women ain't on here doing the same old, same old. I, I would, I really prefer to see them do, well, I would say, I really prefer the producers to search, to show us what you know more of more of the um, business side than side but then than the fighting sides of of them of these people you know what i'm saying show what these people businesses and and how they how they how, how they are you know started from the bottom and now they're here let's see more of that all this fighting stuff yeah it's funny to look at sometimes and maybe they're just you know oh she did that and she did and he did that you know it's it's all right to, to do that but at the same time that gets old you know, that's probably why the only reason why I kind of start watching that other stuff, that love and hip-hop bullcrap, because it's the same thing. Everybody's always pulling each other hair out. I mean, I don't always want to see that bullcrap, and it's and, it, and it's sometimes it, it's so fake, it's redundant. <laughs> and that's probably why, that's probably why the um the ratings have been like they are, because the people are tired of seeing the same old things, and the producers are trying to force it on the viewers as if <laughs> it's some drama, but it's not really no drama. It's just the same repetitive Everybody's playing it safe. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's playing it safe. <laughs> I don't know. And I, and, I, and I truly honestly believe that don't nobody want to be, you know, the one that's, you know, picked out the bunch to be, to, to, I would say to be called a, um, the, um, what is it called? The bully or the shit starter, you know? So all these folks on these shows, these, they, they really be playing it safe. Because, you know, once once you get picked out the bunch, then everybody don't like you no more. But and I would feel like shit hell, you can just scratch that out and just say fuck it. And hey, and she continue to be yourself. <laughs> okay? Cause at the end of the day, they you know, they're gonna edit they're gonna edit they're gonna edit you in a way that's how, how you are perceiving yourself on camera. And so, hey, it is it kinda is what it is. But on that note, I think I done said too much already as it is and it's time for me to get up on out of here. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.